I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. Well, are you happy the National Football League season is back yet? You're probably not if you had the Detroit Lions on the money line. I mean, come on. What are the odds that the Detroit Tigers would get screwed out of a perfect game earlier this year and then the Detroit Lions would get screwed out of a season opening win at Chicago, no less? This is why time and time again I've said I hate betting on futures. I don't mind betting on a series in a college football because it's a shortened season, but when you're betting on National Football League futures, you better hope, you better hope that you don't get reamed in week one like the Detroit Lions did. And it was bad enough that they lost the football game, but they lost Matthew Stafford as well, and that's why the Detroit Lions are getting as many points as they are against the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, ironic, isn't it? Well, Kevin Cobb is down and out for the Philadelphia Eagles, so it's uh, a battle of backup quarterbacks. Seems to me that Michael Vick's a little bit better than Sean Hill is. Nevertheless, the point spread is a little bit high. Now, I always love to take a look at the Sports Interaction Specials page. And I, I took a look at the sports specials for this weekend. And I, I, I love Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. So I take a look and I see who's the National Football League uh, player next to be fined for using Twitter during a game. Now, without a doubt, it's going to be Ocho Cinco. This guy, come on. If your name is Ocho Cinco, you really think you care about uh, getting fined? I don't think so. Ocho Cinco is going to be getting fined, but that's, that's another story. More Morris Jones drew. Yeah, he's probably not going to get fined by the National Football League for tweeting during a game, but he might be tweeting after Sunday's game against the San Diego Chargers. Look at the San Diego Chargers. They got carved up like a Thanksgiving turkey at Oprah Winfrey's house on Thanksgiving Day. Kansas City tore them apart. Now you got Morris Jones Drew had a great game in week one. Rolling into San Diego. I'm going to take the points with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now there's also an interesting prop on the board under the NFL prop page. Eli Manning and Peyton Manning. Yeah, I know they both have one Super Bowl each, but I got a feeling that uh, one of the brothers... Yeah, one of the brothers just a little bit better than the other one. And there's a head-to-head prop between Peyton Manning and Eli Manning on the NFL props page. Basically, it's the quarterback rating. I can't figure out ratings. Doesn't matter. I'll look at the end of the night and cash my bet. Peyton Manning minus the 12.5 points on the QB rating on Sunday night. Speaking of Sunday night, guess who's playing Sunday night baseball? Detroit at Chicago. You can't make this stuff up. And uh, yeah, I'm sure the suits at ESPN are really excited that that's their game this Sunday night. But hey, you know what? Uh, if uh, you can bet it, we'll watch it, sort of, because I'll be watching the football, including college football. We got a great week of college football. Now, last Saturday, hard to top, man. That was spectacular. They don't call it Super Saturday for nothing, but we have some interesting tilts. Notre Dame hits the road for the first time. And listen, just check the guidebook. Handicapping 101. College quarterbacks starting on the road for the first time, they just don't win. And I don't care you know, if they're right out of high school. I don't care if they've been groomed for a couple of years. On the sideline, Dane Christ starts for the first time out of the state of Indiana. And you know what? I like uh, Michigan State in this spot. The Michigan State Spartans and Notre Dame fighting Irish rivalry. It doesn't get talked about. Michigan, Notre Dame, that gets talked about. You know, M Michigan, Ohio State, that gets talked about. Michigan State, Michigan doesn't get talked about. Michigan State are like that dude that no one wants to admit that they hang around with. Yet, you know what? He's a pretty cool guy. And Michigan State are very workmanlike. Michigan State, like nothing better than a prime time appearance to get it done against the hated Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I think that they will. I'll be taking a look at a money line, though, in a situation like this. These two programs have played some great football games, but I expect Michigan State to come out on top when it's all said and done. Now, I love the Utah Utes. I think the Utah Utes are a legitimate contender to win the Mountain West. And don't be shocked, uh, boys, if the Utah Utes are playing in a BCS Bowl when it's all said and done. I like Utah laying the points. Take a look at uh, Sheriff Lobo in New Mexico here. They lost 72 nothing. They lost like 52-13 on their own field against Texas Tech. Don't look now, but the Utah Utes are a better football team than Texas Tech. And even if, even if Utah doesn't care, they're still going to win by 28-35 points. Are you happy football's back? I know I am. I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. May the winners be yours.